Hey everyone, welcome back to The Sheena Show. So this week's episode is for anyone who dreams of pursuing something creative, whether that's full-time or just on the side, just even investing time and money into it, but a thought pops into your head. One of many, (laughs) probably obstacles, but that thought is, what will my parents think? If that has ever gone through your head, you're gonna wanna stay listening to this episode because I have a reframe for you that comes from my experience. When I first quit law in 2013, I had been thinking about it for months, probably six months, but there were so many obstacles in my head and one of the loudest ones was, oh my God, what will my parents think? They worked so hard to come here to the United States, give me and my sister every opportunity, make sure we went to the best schools and got the best education so that we could be stable and secure and aren't I just throwing it all away? They'll be so disappointed. They'll think I'm a total failure. How am I gonna live with that? So let me back up a little bit and tell you a little bit about my parents and our background, just so you have some context. I'm Korean American. I was born here in the US, but my parents immigrated from Korea with you know, barely anything and really built up this business for themselves, made sure me and my sister got the best tutors and schooling and support when we were taking our SATs and applying for colleges. The dream really was for us to go to the best school possible, to have the best life possible. And I thought that that's what my parents wanted for me. They came here to the US to give me and my sister this success. I eventually was able to quit and turn that a little bit around so that I didn't feel so much of that weight on me. And here's the reframe. My parents didn't come here to give me a more successful life. They came here to give me a better life. And maybe better for them did equal success, financial, you know, traditional success. But for me, that wasn't better. For me, better is more fulfilled, more passion and purpose driven. So when I reframe it that way, I'm actually doing exactly what my parents came here for. Look at what I'm doing. I am building a life for myself that's incredibly abundant in so many ways, more on top of financial. So here's what I wanted to explain to you today. It's this idea that The whole world, generation by generation, we do want to get better step by step. We want our our children to have better lives than we had, right? That's every parent's dream. But just because we are here and we want our children's life to be better, we might not necessarily understand what that better means. So I want to run through really quickly this theory called spiral dynamics. I know it sounds a little hokey and weird, but it's a theory that was developed by a college professor, Claire Graves, in the 1950s, so it's been around for a while, and it's basically this idea that our society as a whole kind of tends to spiral upward in, I wanna say, consciousness? (laughs) Um, Spirals upwards so that each generation kind of gets a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. That's sort of the point. We wouldn't want our society to stay stagnant, right? We wouldn't want to stay all in the Middle Ages, for example. So the dream is to continue spiraling up. So I wanna break down this uh, theory of spiral dynamics for you. I think it's a really cool way to look at the world and to remind ourselves that we all just wanna live better lives. Even if we can't imagine what that might be, even if that life might be a little bit different than what we consider to be better, we want our children's to ha- our children to have that. Hey, if you're interested in learning calligraphy and you want to do it for free, I have a calligraphy workshop that I created just for you. I know how frustrating it is to buy the wrong tools, to not know how to use them for everything coming out of your pen to look like nonsense. That's why I created this training. It's about an hour long. It shows you exactly what tools to buy, how to prep those tools, how to get started right, and how to continue practicing so that you actually get good at calligraphy. And bonus, it will tell you a little bit more about how to continue working with me if you wanna learn calligraphy from me. So that's at freecalligraphyworkshop.com, all one word, freecalligraphyworkshop.com. Hope to see you inside.
So let me break down spiral dynamics for you. I wish, you know, I know this is audio and visual, but like it's a trademarked um, theory and I, I'm gonna try and explain it as best I can using words and language. So the idea is that we started down here, down in the bottom of the spiral, and we kind of spiral up, alternating between focusing on the self and focusing on the tribe. So the first level down here is beige. Oh, and each level has a color. So the first level is beige. It's about the self. It's literally just, we gotta survive. I gotta survive, nothing else matters. Obviously we don't wanna stay just there, right? We don't wanna survive, we wanna thrive. So the next level up from that has to do with the tribe and it's the color purple. And the color purple is just, we gotta keep the tribe safe and secure. Sacrifice yourself if it's necessary. The tribe is the most important thing, okay? So that's purple. Next, we're gonna spiral up one more level back to the self. And the color here is red. It's really about power. I am going to do whatever I can to get ahead and whoever's on top tells everybody else what to do. That's red. And then it spirals up a little bit further, it goes back to the tribe side, and that color is blue. Now, here's where we get into where a lot of modern society currently is. Um, a lot of capitalist modern society is in blue. It's follow the rules, follow the hierarchy, stay in your role, don't question, and it's delayed reward. Work hard now and you will get rewarded later. Be good now and you will go to heaven. So that's blue and that's the tribal level. It's starting to get interesting, huh? Okay. Next is, next level up is orange. And that goes back to the self. And this, we're still in kind of modern society here. This is the capitalist ideal. Orange is about really realizing your full self. But, you know, doing it through achievements and really, you know, distinguishing yourself um, in society with your achievements. Okay, orange is all about excelling, setting goals and getting there, playing the game to win. It's what a lot of us kind of strive for. Right? Beyond that is green. We're spiraling up and we're back on the tribe side. And green is more about, less about the self and green is more about, hey, let's take care of our world. Let's make sure people are included. Let's not be so selfish, okay? So that's green. Now in the spiral, we come to an interesting little jump. There's kind of a break here. And the next two levels get a little more woo woo, I'm gonna say for lack of a better term. Okay, the next level up is yellow, it's about the self, and it's really about true self love and worth and being exactly the way you are and being connected to everything. Loving yourself, but being feeling a connection to every other being, the earth, the universe, all of that, right? I told you it was gonna get a little woo-woo. And then, okay, beyond yellow, spiraling back up and into the tribal area again is turquoise. Turquoise level is where you aren't just connected to the world, you are the world. You are part of the whole, you are just, you are the whole. And that the illusion of being separate and being a separate ego and a self like Sheena, that's just an illusion. You break past that and you are just, you are the universe. So that's turquoise. Very, very, very few people are there. I would say very few people are in yellow. Most of us are hanging out in orange and blue. Um, I know that was kind of a quick rundown and I really encourage you to Google spiral dynamics to get a more thorough explanation. And I'm sure I haven't done it justice. I'm sure there's a, there's a lot more to it, a lot more explanation. But it's just such an interesting way to view the world and why, you know, we want to be constantly spiraling up. We don't want to stay stuck in what safety and security and success might mean for our parents. Even if our parents, they want the best for us. They're scared. They're worried about us. My biggest realization was that my parents, they're not disappointed in me and upset that I'm a failure. They're worried. They just want me to be okay. And to them, being in that blue, that follow the hierarchy, do what you're supposed to do, stay in your role and you will succeed, that's what worked for them. And they wanted me to stay there to be safe and secure and happy. But for me, I was spiraling upwards more into that orange, that hey, go your own way, 
set my own goals, make my own achievements. I was going there and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually maybe exactly what is supposed to happen, what we want to happen. That is my rundown of spiral dynamics and how it really helped me to reframe my parents' disappointment in my decision to leave law and go into something so much more to them risky. Of course, it's turned out not to be risky at all. It's turned out to be amazingly abundant in so many ways for me, including financial. And my parents are quite proud of me now, but I'm sure if I chose to leave this business for whatever reason and do something else, they would be worried all over again. But here's the thing, they probably know that I'll be okay because I know that I'll be okay. And that's the most important thing. And I had to go after my own path, despite what I thought my parents would think in order for me to get here. So I hope that explanation of spiral dynamics has been interesting, or at least helped you see things in a different way. Definitely hit me up on Instagram. I'm at crooked calligraphy, C-R-O-O-K-E-D, C-A-L-L-I-G-R-A-P-H-Y, spelling. <laughs> That's my Instagram, so head on over there, follow me, send me a DM if this spoke to you, if you got a little hint of realization or an aha out of it, I would love to hear from you. As always, stay on that crooked creative path and I will see you next week.